Breaking. Trader Bradley Manning just released super creepy campaign ad. Watch. Just when you think things in America cannot get any more nuts, a new story breaks that proves you wrong, which is exactly what happened this past weekend when Bradley Manning, oops, Chelsea Manning the traitorous transgender decided to run for Senate in the state of Maryland. Of course, the announcement has chills running up the legs of liberals as they cheer her on, and why not? The left is really keen on traitors in government positions, but that's another story for another day. Just in case you forgot who Chelsea Manning was here is a brief rundown of who the left proudly hails as a hero now. Manning was a former army intelligence analyst turned traitor who leaked thousands of classified documents which eventually lead to his, her arrest. Manning was charged with 22 offenses, including aiding the enemy, which was considered the most serious charge and could have resulted in a death sentence for the transgender traitor. However, Manning got off easy and was sentenced to just 35 years, and in all honesty that's where the story should have ended, but it didn't. While behind bars, Manning was able to apply for a sex change operation and become Chelsea all on the taxpayer's dime. Then, to add insult to injury, right before Barack Obama left the White House, he commuted Manning's sentence to time served, allowing this traitor to walk free among us. Well, apparently Manning is not done slapping the American people with her, his deplorable behavior and has decided to run for Senate, and in today's climate, this traitor could actually win. Here is more on Manning's decision to run for Senate as reported by The Blaze. The Washington Post first reported Manning's decision to run over the weekend. At the time, Manning didn't give a reason for running. The Post discovered Manning's plans to run via Federal Election Commission paperwork. Manning has yet to offer an official statement. On Sunday, Manning tweeted only the link to a campaign video with the statement, Yup, we're running for Senate. The former private also tweeted a link for supporters to donate to her campaign. Manning is running for the seat currently held by Senator Ben Cardin, DMD. Cardin, a two-term senator, has yet to announce his intentions to run for a third term. If he did, he would be the overwhelming favorite to win. So far, four people have declared their intentions to run for the seat, including Manning. The state's Democratic primary is scheduled for the end of June. At any rate, Manning has now released her and the word her is used loosely here, first campaign video, and it is one giant train wreck that you have to see and hear to believe. We live in trying times. Times of fear, of suppression, of hate. We don't need more, or better, leaders. We need someone willing to fight. We need to stop asking them to give us our rights. They won't support us, they won't compromise, Manning says in the video filled with ominous music and creepy special effects. We need to stop expecting that our systems will somehow fix themselves. We need to actually take the reins of power from them. We need to challenge them at every level. We need to fix this. We don't need them anymore, we can do better. You're damn right we got this, said Manning. That hardly gives you a clear picture of the utter lunacy so let's watch it together, okay? This entire video does not offer one solution to any problems in our government but instead just plays on the emotions of the liberal sheep and their hatred for President Trump. Not only that but the most important thing to note is Manning is a traitor and should still be in prison and not walking among us and certainly should not be given the privilege to run for Senate. Manning had her chance to serve in the military but chose to smuggle out classified documents that put thousands of people's lives at risk. Not only has Manning proved that she is not trustworthy, she has grown a distaste for cops, border security and is a part of the Resist Trump movement as seen on her Twitter page. Oh, and to make matter worse, Manning is now being given a television show. Manning is nothing more than a traitor, but considering how the mainstream media and liberal politicians are fanning the flames of division it is quite possible that she could win. Instead of people focusing on how Trump is helping our country, they'd rather keep us all fighting each other to keep us divided which is exactly what the left desires. Our country deserves better than Manning to be in a position of leadership, and it is about time that the people of Maryland and the rest of the country demand that as well. What do you think? Is it possible that Manning could win the Maryland Senate race? 
Sound off in the comments below. It's below.